everyone, it's Liz. Welcome to my booktube channel. I wanted to film my February book haul. So these are books that I have collected and ordered and bought through the month of February. And I wanted, there was quite a few. I shouldn't be buying books, but I did. So let's get started. Um, the first set of books that I want to show you are books that I got from, I think, Amazon, either through pre-orders or through, um, I don't know, just orders amongst themselves. Um, the first one is None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. And this is about an intersex character. And that's pretty much all I know. And I got it because I wanted to read uh, about gender issues. And so there we go. Um, the next one that I have, kind of going with that, is George by Alex Gino. And George is about a transgender child, and I was interested in this topic. I saw someone else talk about it on BookTube, so I went ahead and, and got it for myself. Um, that same um, direction, I got ooh, can't see it, Gracefully Grayson by Amy Polonsky, and this is another middle grade book about uh, transgender, ooh, transgender issues, and so I'm, in, I'm excited to read those books. Um, the next book in my stack is The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth, and this is about a girl who realizes that she is a lesbian, and she has the misfortune to end up in a conversion camp, and so I thought that that would be an interesting narrative. Um, the next book on my stack was a pre-order, and it is Snot Girl, Volume 1. Um, by Brian Lee O'Malley and Leslie Hung, and I am excited to read this. I'm a fan of Brian Lee O'Malley's work, and so when I saw that, you know, this was on re available for pre-order, I went ahead and ordered it. Um, the next one is one that's been going around BookTube, and I'm excited, and I pre-ordered this one, it is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Um, this one has issues of race, and I'm excited to read it. I'm excited to read all these books. I should quit saying that. <laughs> the next one in my stack um, is The Symptoms, no, not The Symptoms of Being Human by Jeff Garvin, and it has to do with a gender fluid character, and I heard someone talk about it on BookTube, and I thought it would be interesting, and so I'm going to read that. Um, and then this book came from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it is the book for my, uh, my book club selection this month, and it is How to Tell Toledo from the Night Sky by Lydia Netzer, and all I know is it has to do with, like, a couple that connect with each other, and there's been some, um, manipulation by their parents. Okay, so those were all books that I got either from Amazon or elsewhere. The next box is from, uh, Book Outlet. I am not an affiliate of Book Outlet. Um, these are just books. I just enjoy shopping on Book Outlet. And these are books that I found that I thought they were a good deal and they were interesting. Um, so the first one on the stack is Kazuo Ishiguro's Never Let Me Go. And I am kind of ashamed that I haven't read this before because it seems like everybody has read it. Um, I think this one's really beautiful and I haven't read it again. Kind of ashamed, but it's Philip Pullman's The Golden Compass, and look how pretty the cover is. It's very colorful. It's a paper. It's a nice paperback, and I'm excited to get to that one too, as I am excited to get to all of them. This small one is called Life After God by D Douglas Coupland, Coop and it's a little book, like it's hand size, so maybe it won't take long to read. But I thought that it would be interesting to read. Um, the next one is called Insatiable, A Young Mother's Struggle with Anorexia by Erica Rivera. Um, and it, I read the little premise whenever I was book shopping and I thought it was a topic that I wanted to know more about and wanted to hear her story. I've read a few other, um, eating disorder books in the past. Um, the next one on my stack is Ron Chernow's Alexander Hamilton, it's the big Hamilton book, um, and I saw it, and it was a good price, and I said, 
Why not? If I don't get to it, that's fine. I don't have to get to it right away, but I will have it on my shelf. Yes, I will. This book is called Harvard's Secret Court, The Savage 1920 Purge of Campus Homosexuals by William Wright. And it is a historical book, so this is not fiction. This is, um, like, history. And I... I, I like to read history. I like to read nonfiction. Um, I have a poetry volume that is called Rapture um, by Sana Gray. Oh, sorry, McCray. And I thought it looked very interesting. And I'm, I'm trying to get myself into reading more poetry. Let's see. Ah, the next book is another history style history, <laughs> history book, and it is The Artist, the Philosopher, and the Warrior by Paul Strathern, and it has to do with uh, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, Machiavelli, and Borgia. I'm not sure which one, but there you go, you can see them, and it's it looks like right up my alley. I enjoy that period of history, so I'm looking forward to this one. The next one on my stack is called Siswe's Test by Johnny Steinberg, and it has to do with the AIDS epidemic in Africa and HIV and AIDS narratives and um, history books interest me. And so I, I saw this and I wanted to, uh, the picture captivates me. It's a handful of pills. And so I really want to know about this and learn more about that topic. I also got... Forbidden Fruit Love Stories from the Underground Railroad by De Betty DeRamus. And uh, for our class last year, I had to read Beloved. And I didn't get to read it as thoroughly as I wanted, so I didn't mark it re read on Goodreads. But um, it the topic of love between uh, slaves was, was present in that book. And so this was interesting to me because of that. Um, the next one that I have on my stack is After We Kill You, We Will Welcome You Back as Honored Guest, Unembedded in Afghanistan by Ted Rawl. And really, the title of the book just kind of caught me on that, and I was just fascinated. Like, I wanted to know what was going on with that book. And besides that, I don't know. I'll have to read it and see. I got the next book, Miracles, Boy, Miracles Boys by Jacqueline Woodson, because I wanted to read from Jacqueline Woodson. I have heard good things about her writing, and I saw this book, and I thought, well, you know, I'll start there, and we'll, we'll go and see how we, how we do. Um, the next book on the stack is Because I'm a Crazy Cat Lady. All My Patients Are Under the Bed, Memoirs of a Cat Doctor by Dr. Louis J. Camuti. And I, I read um, one of, gosh, I can't remember his name, one of the other famous vet book writers, and I enjoyed it, and this one is about cats, so I'm really excited to read about that. The next one I have is A Renegade History of the United States by Thaddeus Russell, and this has to do with the less respectable parts of society from different historical viewpoints and how they contributed, so you're talking about like rock and roll people, bootleggers, prostitutes, you know, interesting folks, and so I saw the title and I read about it and I said heck yeah and I really like the cover too. Uh, the next one is another one that has to do with HIV and AIDS and it's The Chimp and the River How AIDS Emerged from an African Forest by David Quammen and it's got a lovely cover and I w I'm interested in reading this. It's one of the topics that I keep reading, keep coming back to. Um, the next one has to do with another group. It is For the Benefit of Those Who See by Rosemary Mahoney, and it's Dispatches from the World of the Blind. So this has to do with, uh, people who are blind, people who work with the blind, and it's a piece of nonfiction. So I got a lot of nonfiction in this box, really. And the last book in my box is Golden, Ball, Golden Boy by Tara Sullivan. And it's the paperback version, and it's a, it's got a very haunting cover, like it's very lovely, and it has to do with a young man who has um, albinism, and it, where he lives, uh, he is at risk for being attacked and mutilated physically for the the color of his skin, and so 
I, I wanted to hear more about that and read it for myself. So those are all the books that I ordered. <laughs> I got good deals because Book Outlet is really awesome like that. Um, so if, you, I'll, if you've read any of these books or you know anything or you're interested in these topics, let me know. And as I read them, I'm sure I will you know, talk about them and go more in depth. I'm considering doing a video series where I talk about books that go with specific topics that I enjoy. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Let me know which topics that I might be able to cover for you. Okay, guys. So I will talk to you next time. Bye.